Palau. Palau, officially the Republic of Palau, is an island country located in the western Pacific Ocean. It is geographically part of the larger island group of Micronesia. The country's population of around 21,000 is spread across 250 islands forming the western chain of the Caroline Islands. The most populous island is Kor. The islands share maritime boundaries with Indonesia, the Philippines, and the Federated States of Micronesia. The capital Ngorolmut is located in Malekiok State on the nearby island of Babildorb. The country was originally settled around 3,000 years ago by migrants from the Philippines and sustained a Negrito population until around 900 years ago. The islands were first visited by Europeans in the 18th century, and were made part of the Spanish East Indies in 1885. Following Spain's defeat in the Spanish-American War in 1898, the islands were sold to Imperial Germany in 1899 under the terms of the German-Spanish Treaty where they were administered as part of German New Guinea. The Imperial Japanese Navy conquered Palais during World War I, and the islands were later made a part of the Japanese-ruled South Pacific Mandate by the League of Nations. During World War II, skirmishes, including the Major Battle of Peleliu, were fought between American and Japanese troops as part of the Mariana and Palais Islands campaign. Along with other Pacific islands, Palais was made a part of the United States Governed Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands in 1947. Having voted against joining the Federated States of Micronesia in 1979, the islands gained full sovereignty in 1994 under a compact of free association with the United States. Politically, Palais is a presidential republic in free association with the United States, which provides defense, funding, and access to social services. Legislative power is concentrated in the bicameral Palais National Congress. Palais's economy is based mainly on tourism, subsistence the agriculture and fishing, with a significant portion of gross national product, GNP, derived from foreign aid. The country uses the United States dollar as its currency. The island's culture mixes Japanese, Micronesian and Melanesian elements. The majority of citizens are of mixed Micronesian, Melanesian, and Austronesian descent, with significant groups descended from Japanese and Filipino settlers. The country's two official languages are Palawan, member of the wider Sunda Sulawesi language group, and English, with Japanese, Sansoralis, and Tobian recognized as regional languages. Name The name for the islands in the Palawan language, Belay, likely derives from either the Palan word for village, Bila, or from Aai Bibalay, indirect replies, relating to a creation myth. The name Palais entered the English language from the Spanish Los Palos, via the German Palais. An archaic name for the islands in English was the Palau Islands. It should not be confused with Palau, which is a Malay word meaning island. History Palais was originally settled between the 3rd and 2nd millennia BC, most likely from the Philippines or Indonesia. The island sustained a population of short-statured Negrito or Pygmy people until the 12th century, when they were replaced. The modern population, judging by its language, may have come from the Sunda Islands. Sonsaral, part of the Southwest Islands, an island chain approximately 600 kilometers, 370 miles, from the main island chain of Palais, was sighted by Europeans as early as 1522, when the Trinidad, the flagship of Ferdinand Magellan's voyage of circumnavigation, sighted two small islands around the fifth parallel north, naming them San Juan. British traders became prominent visitors to Palais in the 18th century, followed by expanding Spanish influence in the 19th century. Following its defeat in the Spanish-American War, Spain sold Palais and most of the rest of the Caroline Islands to Germany in 1899. Control passed to Japan in 1914 and during World War II the islands were taken by the United States in 1944, with a costly Battle of Peleliu between September 15 and November 25 when more than 2,000 Americans and 10,000 Japanese were killed. 
The islands passed formally to the United States under United Nations auspices in 1947 as part of the Trust Territory of the Pacific Islands. Four of the Trust Territory districts formed a single federated Micronesian state in 1979, but the districts of Pale and the Marshall Islands declined to participate. Pale, the westernmost cluster of the Carolines, instead opted for independent status in 1978. It approved a new constitution and became the Republic of Pale in 1981. It signed a compact of free association with the United States in 1982. After eight referenda and an amendment to the Palawan Constitution, the compact was ratified in 1993. The compact went into effect on October 1, 1994, marking Palay de jure independent, although it had been de facto independent since May 25, 1994, when the trusteeship ended. Legislation making Palay an offshore financial center was passed by the Senates in 1998. In 2001, Pale passed its first bank regulation and anti-money laundering laws. Politics and Government Pale is a multi-party democratic republic. The president of Pale is both head of state and head of government. Executive power is exercised by the government, while legislative power is vested in both the government and the Pale National Congress. The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. The capital is Ngaralnad. Pale adopted its own constitution in 1981. The governments of the United States and Pale concluded a Compact of Free Association in 1986, similar to compacts that the United States had entered into with the Federated States of Micronesia and the Republic of the Marshall Islands. The compact entered into force on October 1, 1994 concluding Palais' transition from trusteeship to independence as the last portion of the trust territory of the Pacific Islands to secure its independence. Free Association The Compact of Free Association between the United States and Palais sets forth the free and voluntary association of their governments. It primarily focuses on the issues of government, economic, security and defense relations. Pale has no independent military, relying on the United States for its defense. Under the compact, the American military was granted access to the islands for 50 years. The U.S. Navy role is minimal, limited to a handful of Navy Seabees, construction engineers. The United States Coast Guard patrols in national waters. Foreign Relations As a sovereign nation, Pale conducts its own foreign relations. Since independence, Pale has established diplomatic relations with a number of nations, including many of its Pacific neighbors. Pale was admitted to the United Nations on December 15, 1994 and has since joined several other international organizations. In September 2006, Pale hosted the first Taiwan Pacific Allies Summit. Its president has made official visits to other Pacific countries, including Taiwan. The United States maintains a diplomatic delegation and an embassy in Pale, but most aspects of the country's relationship have to do with compact-funded projects, which are the responsibility of the U.S. Department of the Interior's Office of Insular Affairs. This has led to some ambiguity in the official status of Pale. In international politics, Pale often votes with the United States with respect to United Nations General Assembly resolutions. Pale is a member of the Nauru Agreement. Nuclear Free Constitution In 1981, Pale voted for the world's first nuclear free constitution. This constitution banned the use, storage, and disposal of nuclear, toxic chemical, gas and biological weapons without first being approved by a three-quarters majority in a referendum. This ban delayed Palais' transition to independence, because while negotiating the compact, the U.S. insisted on the option to operate nuclear-propelled vessels and store nuclear weapons within the territory. After several referendums that failed to achieve a three-quarters majority, the people of Palais finally approved the compact in 1994. Asylum for former Guantanamo prisoners On June 10, 2009, 
Parley announced that it would accept up to all 17 of the remaining Uggas detained in Guantanamo as a humanitarian gesture. Five Uggar captives were released without being prosecuted in 2004 and transferred to Albania in 2006. The remaining 17 were released due to lack of evidence in 2008. Stuart Beck, Parley's representative to the United Nations, published an op-ed in the New York Times disputing the widely distributed report that Parley's agreement to accept the Uggers was tied to Parley's receipt of 200 million U.S. dollars in foreign aid. Beck asserted that Parley had received funds from the USA connected with accepting the Uggers, but it was $90,000 per Ugger, not $12 million. Beck asserted that the $90,000 was to compensate Parley for its relocation costs, and was to cover transportation, food, housing and medical help until the men can get oriented and get jobs. ABC News confirmed that the United States would be paying Parley for each captive who was resettled and quoted a senior official who described the amount as not very substantial. William Cleary, writing in the Pacific Daily News, reported that Parley was in a poor bargaining position to decline the American request. However, Cleary also described the assertions that the captive resettlement was a straight quid pro quo as misleading. He listed the USA's desire to continue to be able to base U.S. military personnel on Parley, to balance the growing military force of the People's Republic of China, as one complicating factor. He also listed Parley's desire for an exemption from proposed restrictions on immigration from former protectorates like Parley. An official technical working group from Parley traveled to Guantanamo to meet with the Uggers in mid June 2009. On June 23, the Parley government published a press release which said only eight of the 13 Uggers agreed to meet with the delegation. Their report stated, the team advised President Toribiang that in their opinion only a few of the detainees that were interviewed had any real interest in being relocated to Parley. On June 30, Radio New Zealand International reported only one Uggar agreed to be temporarily resettled in Parley. On September 10, the Times reported that three of the Uggars have accepted the invitation to be transferred to asylum in Parley. On September 19, Fox News reported that in the week since the first announcement three further Uggars agreed to be transferred to Parley. Fox reported that five of the other Uggars had refused to speak with Parley officials. On October 31, six Uggars were reported to have been transferred to Palais. Twelve of the thirteen remaining Uggars were offered asylum. The thirteenth man was not offered asylum because his mental health had deteriorated beyond the nation's mental health resources to care for him. The United States agreed to give Palais additional aid in January 2010. Palais had rejected an earlier aid package of $156 million US dollars. The new aid package was for $250 million US dollars. President Toribiang asserted that the increase in aid was unrelated to Parley agreement to host the Uggers. States Parley is divided into 16 states, until 1984 called municipalities. These are listed below with their areas, in square kilometers, and 2005 census populations. Historically, Parley's uninhabited rock islands have been part of the state of Core. Geography Parley's most populous islands are Angao, Babeldob, Core and Peleliu. The latter three lie together within the same barrier reef, while Angao is an oceanic island several miles to the south. About two-thirds of the population live on Core. The coral atoll of Kaur Angel is north of these islands, while the uninhabited rock islands, about 200, are west of the main island group. A remote group of six islands, known as the Southwest Islands, some 375 miles, 604 kilometers, from the main islands, make up the states of Hapobabai and Sonsaril. Climate Palay has a tropical climate with an annual mean temperature of 82 DEGF, 28 DEGC. Rainfall is heavy throughout the year, averaging 150 inches, 3,800 millimeters. The average humidity is 82% and although rain falls more frequently between July and October, there is still much sunshine. Typhoons are rare, as Palais is outside the main typhoon zone.
Environment While much of Pile remains free of environmental degradation, areas of concern include illegal dynamite fishing, inadequate solid waste disposal facilities in core and extensive sand and coral dredging in the Pile Lagoon. As with other Pacific Island nations, rising sea level presents a major environmental threat. Inundation of low-lying areas threatens coastal vegetation, agriculture and already insufficient water supply. Wastewater treatment is a problem, along with the handling of toxic waste from fertilizers and biocides. Saltwater crocodiles are also residents of Pile and occur in varying numbers throughout the various mangroves and even in parts of the beautiful Rock Islands. Although this species is generally considered extremely dangerous, there has only been one fatal human attack in Pile within modern history, and that was in the 1960s. In Pile, the largest crocodile measured in at 4.5 meters, 15 feet. The nation is also vulnerable to earthquakes, volcanic activity, and tropical storms. Pile already has a problem with inadequate water supply and limited agricultural areas to support its population. Leadership On November 5, 2005, President Tommy E. Riemann Jesse, Jr. took the lead on a regional environmental initiative called the Micronesia Challenge, which would conserve 30% of nearshore coastal waters and 20% of forest land by 2020. Following Pile, the initiative was joined by the Federated States of Micronesia and Marshall Islands, and the U.S. territories of Guam and Northern Mariana Islands. Together, this combined region represents nearly 5% of the marine area of the Pacific Ocean and 7% of its coastline. On September 25, 2009, Pale announced that it would create the world's first shark sanctuary. Pale banned all commercial shark fishing within its EEZ waters. The sanctuary protects about 600,000 square kilometers, 230,000 square miles, of ocean, a similar size to France. President Johnson to Ribbian announced the sanctuary at a meeting of the United Nations. President to Ribbian proposed a worldwide ban on fishing for sharks. In 2012, Pale received the Future Policy Award from World Future Council, because Pale is a global leader in protecting marine ecosystems. Economy Pale's economy consists primarily of tourism, subsistence the agriculture and fishing. Tourist activity focuses on scuba diving and snorkeling in the island's rich marine environment, including its barrier reefs walls and World War II wrecks. The government is the major employer, relying heavily on U.S. financial assistance. Business and tourist arrivals numbered some 50,000 in financial year 2000-2001. The population enjoys a per capita income twice that of Micronesia as a whole. Long-term prospects for the key tourist sector have been greatly bolstered by the expansion of air travel in the Pacific, the rising prosperity of leading East Asian countries and the willingness of foreigners to finance infrastructure development. Air service has at times been spotty. Pile Micronesia Air, Asian Spirit and Pacific Flyer provided service to the Philippines and other destinations at various times during the 2000s, but all suspended service. United Airlines now provides near-daily service to and from Guam, and once weekly service to Yap. Also, Delta Airlines provides service three times per week to Tokyo. In November 2006, Pale Saving Bank officially announced bankruptcy. On December 13 of the same year the Pale Horizon reported that 641 depositors had been affected. Among them 398 held less than $5,000 USD with the remainder ranging from million dollars USD. On December 12, 79 affected people received compensation. Mr. Toribian said, the fund for the payout came from the balance of Pale government's loan from Taiwan. From a total of one million dollars USD, which originally was for assisting Pale's development, $955,000 USD was left at the time of bankruptcy. Toribian requested the Taiwanese government use the balance to repay its loans. Taiwan agreed to the request. The compensation would include those who held less than $4,000 USD in an account. The income tax has three brackets with rates of 
15% and 19.6%. Corporate tax is 4% and general sales tax is 7.5%. There are no property taxes. Demographics The population of Pale is approximately 21,000, of whom 70% are native Palaeans of mixed Melanesian, Micronesian, and Austronesian descent. Many Palaeans also have some Asian ancestry, from intermarriage between settlers and Palaeans beginning in the 19th and 20th centuries. Palaeans with mixed Japanese ancestry accounted for the largest group. Some also had some Chinese or Korean ancestry. Filipinos form the second largest ethnic group. The official languages of Pale are Palawan and English, except for two states, Sonsaral and Hapohobai, where the local language, along with Palawan, is official. Japanese is spoken widely amongst older Palawans and is an official language in the state of Angao. Tagalog is not official in Pale, but is the fourth largest spoken language. Culture Religion The German and Japanese occupations of Pale both subsidized missionaries to follow the Spanish. Three quarters of the population are Christians, mainly Roman Catholics and Protestants, while modern J, a combination of Christianity, traditional Palawan religion and fortune telling, and the ancient Palawan religion are commonly observed. Japanese rule brought Mahayana Buddhism and Shinto to Pale which were the majority religions among Japanese settlers. However, following Japan's World War II defeat, the remaining Japanese largely converted to Christianity, while the remainder continued to observe Buddhism, but stopped practicing Shinto rites. According to the 2005 census 49.4% of the population is Roman Catholic, 21.3% Protestant, 8.7% Modern J and 5.3% Seventh-day Adventist. Only 1% of the population was estimated to be Buddhist in 2010, with the Chinese community also practicing Chinese folk religion as well. The small Jewish community in 2009 sent three members to the 18th Maccabia Games. A branch of The Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints holds services in Kaur and operates a family history center there. There are also approximately 400 Bengali Muslims in Pale. Society Palan society, much like the island's language, has always been unique to the islands. Palan society follows a very strict matrilineal system. Matrilineal practices are seen in nearly every aspect of Palan traditions, especially in funeral, marriage, inheritance and the passing of traditional titles. The cuisine includes local foods such as cassava, taro, yam, potato, fish and pork. Western cuisine is favored among young Palans and the locals are joined by foreign tourists. Restaurants on the main island of Kaur consist mainly of Korean food, as well as Chinese, burgers, pizza and pasta. Indigenous cuisine consists mainly of root vegetables, fish, pigs and chicken. The rest of Micronesia is similar with much less tourism, leading to fewer restaurants. Tourists eat mainly at their hotels on such islands. Some local foods include an alcoholic drink made from coconut on the tree, the drink made from the roots of the kava, and the chewing of betel nuts. The Filipino presence in the island supports the presence of that cuisine. The Palan people respect their traditions. The traditional government system still influences the nation's affairs, leading the federal government to repeatedly attempt to limit its power. Many of these attempts took the form of amendments to the constitution that were supported by the corporate sector to protect what they deemed should be free economic zones. One such example occurred in early 2010, where the Idid clan, the ruling clan of the Southern Federation, under the leadership of Bai Lung, the Southern Federation's queen, raised a civil suit against the core State Public Lands Authority, KSPLA. The Idid clan laid claim over Malakal Island, a major economic zone and Palais's most important port, citing documents from the German era. The verdict held that the island belonged to the KSPLA. Traditional Government the present-day traditional government of Palais is a continuation of its ancestor, composed of practices that span thousands of years. 
Traditionally, Palais was organized hierarchically. The lowest level is the village or hamlet, then the chiefdom, now politically referred to as a state, and finally alliances of chiefdoms. In ancient times, numerous federations divided power, but upon the 17th century introduction of firearms by the British, an imbalance of power occurred. Palais became divided into northern and southern federations. The northern federation is headed by the high chief and chiefess of the ruling clan of Malekiok state, the Reclay and Abil Clay. They are commonly referred to as the king and queen of the northern federation. This northern federation comprises the state of Karangel, Ngashalong, Ngadme, Naiwal, Ngararad, Ngatpang, Ngamlingi, Mlikok, Amaliak, Nchiza and Arai. The Southern Federation is likewise represented by the High Chief and Chiefess of the ruling Idit of Kaur State. The Southern Federation comprises the states of Kaur, Peleliu and Angau. However, fewer and fewer Palans have knowledge of the concept of federations, and the term is slowly dying out. Federations were established as a way of safeguarding states and hamlets who shared economic, social, and political interests, but with the advent of federal government safeguards are less meaningful. It is interesting to note however, that in international relations, the King of Palais is synonymous with the Ibdl of Kaur. This is because Kaur is the industrial capital of the nation, elevating his position over the Reclay of Malekiok. It is a misconception that the King and Queen of Palais, or any chief and his female counterpart for that matter are married. Traditional leaders and their female counterparts have always been related and unmarried. Marrying relatives was a traditional taboo. Usually, a chief and his female counterpart are brother and sister, or close cousins, and have their own spouses. Sports Baseball is a popular sport in Palais after its introduction by the Japanese in the 1920s. The Palais national baseball team won the gold medal at the 1990, 1998 and 2010 Micronesian Games as well as at the 2007 Pacific Games. Palais also has a national football team organized by the Palais Soccer Association but is not a member of FIFA. The association also organizes the Palais Soccer League. Education Some fields of study are available at Palais Community College. For professional and graduate programs, students must travel to a larger institution. Cuisine Palan cuisine includes local foods such as cassava, taro, yam, potato, fish and pork. Western cuisine is favored among young Palawans. Restaurants on the main island of Kaur consist mainly of Korean food, as well as Chinese, burgers, pizza, pasta, etc. Indigenous cuisine consists mainly of root vegetables, fish, pigs and chicken. The rest of Micronesia has a similar cuisine except that the rest of Micronesia has less tourism and fewer restaurants. Tourists eat mainly at their hotels on less visited islands. Some local foods include an alcoholic drink made from coconut on the tree, the drink made from the roots of the kava plant, and the chewing of beetle nuts. Filipino immigrants added their cuisine to Palais mixture. Transport. Palais International Airport provides scheduled direct flights to Guam, Manila, Seoul and Taipei and since December 2010, Tokyo Narita. In addition, the states of Angau and Peleliu have regular service to international destinations. Freight, military and cruise ships often call at Malakal Harbor, on Malakal Island outside Kaur. The country has no railways, and of the 61 kilometers or 38 miles of highways, only 36 kilometers or 22 miles are paved. Driving is on the right and the speed limit is 40 kilometers per hour, 25 miles per hour. Taxis are available in core. They are not metered and fares are negotiable. Only core offers bus service. Transportation between islands mostly relies on private boats and domestic air services. Foreign Media the 1968 World War II movie Hell in the Pacific starring Lee Marvin and Toshiro Maifune was filmed on Palais Rock Islands. Palais was the site for the reality television program Survivor. 
Japanese Survivor used the islands for its first season in 2002. It was also the location of Survivor, Parley, the 10th edition of the American Survivor, which aired from February 17 to May 15, 2005 in United States, and Survivor, Micronesia, the 16th edition, which aired from February 7 to May 11, 2008. In August 2009, Survivor Philippines also used the islands for its second season. The islands are mentioned in the song Orinoco Flow performed by Irish singer Enya. Parley was featured in an episode of the children's TV show Toot and Puddle, based on the book series by American children's author Holly Hobby. Parley has been featured a few times by National Geographic. Parley was featured in Journey 2, The Mysterious Island. Peleli was used in Call of Duty, World at War as a map for a mission. Parley is featured prominently in the popular blog, It Just Gets Stranger, written by Eli 